Good morning, Marie. Did you have a lovely evening with my baby daddy to be? Which one would that be, Tom, Dick, or Harry? You do cast quite a wide, saggy net. I want my dress back. <clears throat> it's a you. You ruined my gender reveal. Oh, no, I slept with Warren. Hmm? That's what this is about, isn't it? Just because you cheated on your fiance with him, yes, Warren filled me in. And he is the dad of one of my sons, and I have got every right to try and make peace with Joel, so just get out of my face, all right, with this, this jealousy. Gladly. Thank you. Because Warren, he doesn't want a fat, unstable bloater. Keep the dress. Mercedes! Cindy's not answering. I'm gonna go find her. I'm worried she might have done something reckless. Well, there was no calm in Zion last night. Maybe she had the hospital. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. You joining me? Oh, why not? <sighs> Close friends of the family. He's had a terrible accident. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, well, no, he survived it, but. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Listen, making an enemy of Mercedes, you certainly know how to make an entrance. Ah, oh, sort your mess of a mother out. Oh, here we go. You really do have thoughts for me, don't you? Right, Mum, let me take you back to your bed and breakfast. Why is not me starting fights in public? Is that mayor? Well, you're just here to cause trouble. It's lies that you want to reach out to Joel. Mum, Not Mom. a liar. Fresh out of the nick, homeless, relying on him for handouts. Uh, no, that's not how it is. No? You've got involved with a family that think they can intimidate me. You wasn't there for Joel as a kid. And now you want to show up as his mother. I only want to be a mother. I mean, fat bloater, the cheeky cow. I'm eating for free here. My girls are starving. Did you get me here just to give me a blow-by-blow blow account of the fight you've just had with my mum? Your mother slept with your dad. I was about to go and make peace with Warren, as per your suggestion. Is this my fault, like? She's claiming that she's here to get to know you again, but it's all a load of rubbish. So you need to make her time here as horrible as possible. But why is this bothering you so much? Because my babies need a dad. And she wants him all to herself. No, it's not. You want him. You want my dad back in the competition, gone, that's it. Mm. With me and Warren, it is complicated. Anyway, I've got to get to pregnancy yoga. You finish then. You give us biscuits there. And we get to fall asleep while the hippie does the meditation. Mm. Get him to get Marie out of the way. Hey, uh, got your message. Can't believe what he's done. Oh, Joel, he's been hiding it for months, Steve. You know, all the lies, the crash, you getting hit. I just don't even know what to think of him. He didn't do any of that on purpose, did he? Yeah, but he still covered it up, and that is unforgivable. What, so he knew you hit her and he still ran off? No, he didn't know at the time. I mean, as soon as he realised he should have come forward, I mean, what are Leah and Lucas going to think when they find out? I don't know. Might we better get back in view then. Yeah, it's such a mess. Ethan? Mate. Listen, all right, someone's in my club saying she's your mum, OK? I want her gone, so just get down here. <gasps> oh, come on, if they're too hammered to know. I'll tell you what, yeah? I'll say she left at the bar, and then you leave. And then I'll do you a favour, and I won't tell the police. If you give me 20, I'll leave. If I give you 20... Wait, Joel, how did you even turn out half decent? I didn't. Sent a young offenders of 15 and cut ties with that. Still cut. How's my little grandson doing? Is he cooking nicely? Yeah, please don't touch me. Just, I just want to explain things. What? Like why Golden Boy over here never got kicked in from Mick, but I did. And you did nothing to stop him. OK, Mum, I think you've had enough. Come on, let's get you out of here. It's my boy. It's my boy. I call and he comes running. You've picked a sweet one there. And listen, 
you know, we'll get to like each other because there's nothing more important than family. This, this connection that we all have is stronger than all of us. Why now? Eh? Why is it so important all of a sudden? Because I miss my boys. Come on, Marie, let's get Come you to the beach. I, I don't want to. I can't eat, I can't sleep, I can't be on my own. I just, I need to get more money. Oh, right, so you came here to rinse me. I came here because I need all my sons. Well, I'm sorry, but I wouldn't care if I never saw you again. Hey, don't say that, Joel. Come on, she's clearly suffering. Come on. Oh. Yeah, you're feeling sorry for yourself because you're down on your luck and skin. Bad, is it? I need the money for the search. For Arlo. My missing little boy. So hang on a minute, he was kidnapped and the police have done nothing about it. Because uh, he was abducted by his own father. Mm. His dad? Who's... Why is he trying to hurt him? Well, could anything have happened to her? Well, you don't think she tortures herself with this? I'm sorry, mate, but you've been cutting about here for how many weeks now? You've never mentioned once the fact I've got a little brother that's been kidnapped. Are you mad? Why didn't you tell me? I leave it to Mum to tell who she wants. Marie, how have you been surviving knowing your son's missing? It's the only reason I get out of bed in the morning. It's just the hope of finding him. There was a sighting in France of him and what could have been his dad, Chris. But, um, they went for nothing. Why did Chris even take him? To punish me. He's the kind of man that would do something like that. What's your poor little lad thinking? Like, why does he think he's been taken from you and his home? I don't... I don't know. Hey, we will find him, all right? More media campaigns, another private investigator. Mum, you're exhausted, yeah? Hey, come on. Marie. Uh. Hey, look, before you go, um, <clears throat> here's 50. Love. Thank you. Hey. Never take your family for granted. No matter what. She's right now. <sighs> ah, Steve. No matter what he's done, he's still my brother, isn't he? I need to give him a hug. brother's been missing for over a year. Because I'm helpless. I'm useless. I should have been able to find him. It's hard for me to talk about just how much it kills me. I'm your girlfriend. You should be... Oh, I've got migraine, Cleo. It's been a hard day dealing with Mum. All her heartbreak all over again. I could really do it with some space. Right, okay, fine. I'll be up in a bit, babe. Cleo's cousin was getting sus, so I had to ghost you. I shouldn't have turned up. Too risky. You getting the money OK? Yeah. We're doing fine. Oh, here he is. Oh, decent haircut, Arlo, buddy. Is your dad and wicked stepmom looking after you? Oi, what's the wicked? Yeah. I miss you. I miss you too, mate. And her mum, she's still refusing to see us. I'm sorry. 
So to catch up on all the latest drama in the Hollyoaks village, you need to click here to watch full episodes or here to get some little snippets of what's been going on. Do not forget to subscribe.